This video will cover the topic, factoring out a constant before factoring a quadratic. This video will cover an example of a quadratic polynomial with a leading coefficient that is greater than one and that can be simplified before being factored. Here's our example. 2x squared plus 16x plus 30. We could go ahead and start factoring this, but because the leading coefficient is greater than one, we know that this would involve harder work. Therefore, the first thing we want to do is check to see if there is a greatest common factor of each term in the polynomial. See here that the coefficients of this quadratic are 2, 16, and 30. Is there a greatest common factor of each of these numbers that can be factored out? Yes, I think it is 2. You're right. We can divide 2 out of each of these numbers. So after dividing 2 out of each term of the polynomial, the result is 2 times the quantity of x squared plus 8x plus 15. Because we can see here that 2x squared, when we divide 2 out of that, the result is x squared. And we take 16x and divide by 2 to result in 8x. And we take 30 and divide by 2 to result in 15. Now that we have this quadratic in a simplified form, it will be easier to factor this. If we follow the steps of factoring to factor x squared plus 8x plus 15, the result is x plus 5 times x plus 3. And we have to make sure we leave the 2 right here on the outside, showing that we divided 2 out of the original quadratic. So if we see that there is a greatest common factor that we can first divide out of the original quadratic, then it facilitates the factoring process. Very good. 